I, okay, I hope you can see this. I'm going to use a pair of little needle nose pliers. I usually no, normally use my fingers, but uh, I've got my trusty assistant here to help me film. And I'm going to try and use these pliers so my big fat fingers don't get in the way. Just watch how I don't clobber you with this vice handle. So, the first one, just squeeze the bottom one together, the one that looks after the, the ratchet. How's that showing up on there? Squeeze that one t together. It's easier to do this with your fingers, really. So squeeze that one together and push the ratchet all the way in. Keep that spring compressed. And what we're waiting for is the small spring, which is this one here, to come in line with that line there, that groove there. That nut there is just to give it an extra bit of space to compress the piston. But it's quite hard to do this by hand, so it is it is easier in the vice. Anyway, compress that again. Continue sending that up till the top clip gets in line with the top clip, which it is now. So I'll let that one go. And now I'll grab, grab this clip, compress that and start releasing the pressure, the pist the spring inside the piston, then will push the little spring I'm compressing into the smaller groove, and it's got it now, it's got it now, and that will be it, reset, I'll take it out the vise now, the vise will come back, there we go, so there you see, it's, it's set, and that small spring, I hope that's focusing, that small spring is in the upper part of the groove. The upper part of the groove is smaller, so it traps that spring. Yeah, so that's reset now. And when you put it in the engine, you turn the engine backwards, the chain goes tight on this side, and it pushes that piston in slightly, releasing the clip. There it clicked then, and then away it goes, and that's it, it's done. That's all there is to it. Hope that helps.